So is there anything you want to go over about the crossroads before we begin? Because I know we didn't fully finish them, we didn't go over the undone. But is there anything you particularly want to go over? Um, I thought they were okay actually, not as bad as I thought no. they were going to be. <laughs> Do you remember yeah. what came up from that lesson was the high streets, wasn't it? Because that was a bit you didn't so much. That was tr quite tricky yeah. actually. What was hard about that? Um, it was just like lots of people walking around yeah. everywhere and like stopping and starting and That's it. trying to like move quickly when you had to move and yeah. stuff like that. So the old style of is going to try three different high streets. The first one okay. we've done before briefly on the way back. So when it rained we had to finish the lesson early. So um, we didn't film that bit but it was quite busy. Quite rainy I mean. Uh, there's that one, there's another one further which is a little bit harder than the third one is the one we did last time. The whole King's Heath High Street. So okay. that's the hardest one. Um, so what skill do you need do you think? to do high streets well, because there's one thing more than anything you've got to do really well. Um, more than anything. No, it's slow moving traffic, what do you need to do? So you like creeping? Yeah, that's it. Because we were talking last time about creeping and mainly braking earlier, wasn't it? Braking harder, braking earlier. Yeah. So on the high street, most of the time you cut, you're going to be down. So it's going mm. to down, stop, up creep, like that. So you're going to full goes like that quite a bit. And you don't really spend much time with it up. You might have it up like that long and then down, then up and down up and down so there's a lot of work on the clutch up and down up and down without breaking much but the point is to keep a distance do you know about when we said there's, there's a car in front of you um how far back should you be not when you can slow not two seconds but what should you be able to see you want to be able to see their tires yep, and it. the road underneath yep so a lot of the vanners will be a bit far back because on the high street if you leave that much room someone will come around you and i think you've stopped or something but talking about stopping um what else would you need to do on the high street that we haven't done yet, there's a manoeuvre you might need to do, what you will need to do at some point in your life, where if you wanted to stop on a high street, what would you need to do? Oh, you'd have to parallel yeah. park. That's it, we're going to do that today as well. Not on the high street because I'll be too busy, it'll be like hectic there, but mm. we're going to try some parallel parking. So, if you want to turn on, um, okay. we'll get going and uh, get them a lot before most of it's up to you because we've got the stage now where I don't have to talk too much. So, I'll go through the high streets with you there, we're going to do parking here and there. What do you need before we turn on? Um, and That's just put it, it in. Yeah, sure. it. So, most of it's up to you, but let's just go and see how that goes. And uh, anything that comes up, we'll work on that. Okay. Otherwise, it's just up to you. That's good, That's good smooth moving there. Sometimes I do high streets quite early on because of where we began with start lessons, we never really have to do them that early on. But um, <coughs> sometimes it can be easier because it's just a lot of stop, start, stop, start, yeah. rather than free flowing traffic. So, end of the road, we'll go left. So, we've been here before, we're going to go up through a way we haven't been before. So, one other thing we'll go over as well once you've turned on this one, nothing wrong with just something we're going to go over. They're doing parking there. So we do it later on. <laughs> so it's happening. What do you think of that? Was it okay second? That's good, yeah, because that was good because you're looking and you're looking quicker, you're looking sooner than before. So I know we said in the past don't come out too, but we also said when you get more used to it you can. So, do you remember last time we had the yellow box junctions on the floor? Yeah. What did I mean? So, you have to, you can't go in it until you can see your exes. That's it. Because in a bit, you're going to have some roundabouts with the same kind of thing. Um, you know, said before, you can wait in them if you're turning right. That doesn't apply in roundabouts. You turn if you're turning right, like a 90 degree, like that. So, when we get to these roundabouts, I'll talk through them. At the end of the road, we'll go left. But there's going to be box junctions on the roundabouts, which make them a little bit more awkward, or a lot more awkward. Could you look at the soil as well? That's what we're saying in the past about the views quite bad. That's bad. I don't think we've been the way we're going before. We're going to go next left. Have we ever been down this road? Um, not that I remember. So we'll go this a little bit, does it? Because it's a little bit. It's, it's quite easy to begin with, but oh, come. Yeah, okay. so I thought it was reversing out of the road, then, wasn't it? So what's different about this road? Um, it's one way. That's it. This does get quite weird in a bit, there's two ways you can go and I'll explain it as best I can, but for the moment that's good, that's good. 
But if he's going to park, just give him loads of room because he Should might come back a bit. Wait. That's because he's got to the curb. Okay. That's what you don't want to do because if you go to the curb and drop it off, then back it up, that's sort of clumsy way to do it. So we're going to go not with the silver car and follow to the left through the cars or through between the bulk cars. Okay. But you do then have to turn right after the end of the silver car, so through here. Yeah. Because there's different ways you can go. Clutch down, braking a little bit, drop into one. That's, it. That's what I mean about funny around it. And then loads of turn right. It's a bit like a high street anyway. And then clutch down, braking, looking right, can we go? Yeah. That's good. Some fun. That's good. Now you can actually go the other way around, like the other side of the park cars, but that's what we're doing today about kind of, you know, not, not exactly a high street, that's a very, very old high street, hundreds of years ago. Then we get park cars, don't you? You can see why, but... So, are they going to move soon or not? Uh, I think she's going to be yeah, quite slow. So, that's good, so, that's good work, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, so left on this. I can't see brilliantly on this one, I can see enough, but it's okay. up to you to decide. I'm going to go after this ambulance. That's good. Could you have turned right there or not? Is that legal? Um, no, I don't think. Actually, yeah. maybe you could if there were no people there. Because he doesn't say you can't, it's weird. I mean, it's face to left and you can actually go right. You wouldn't be because you'd have gone the other way from this to go right. But anyway, so if you keep as far to the right as you can. And you want the lane with the truck in the, the white truck with the other side back. So straight on. What's the reason for us being in this lane, do you think? Because I haven't told you yet, but there's a reason why. Um, so maybe we'll turn right? So yep, that's it. So top of the hill, right then, right. Yep, that's going to fairly quickly change quite fast. Let's okay. get in there. Oh, one. That's time. it. Now there's a didn't change, but sometimes it can change before the ones on the right come out. So at the top of the hill, <laughs> there are two roundabouts. We're going to go right both roundabouts. Okay. That's the only reason we're in this lane now. That's good. Sometimes it's quite hard to get over if you're not. You know this is where we've come back a few times, we've come back to the station this way. Have we? Like if we go left there, that's the station. Oh, okay. We just didn't come out that way because we started somewhere else today. But is he going to go out the way or not? No, I don't think so. It should have been, was it? Yes, yeah, so you should be going. Oh, okay. That's good. Sorry. That's what we did last time. That's good. Nothing on there. That's that car should have just gone because he hesitated. He confused everyone. So what's up in there? Um, it's twenty then. Yep, that's good. So right, both round. I know I keep saying that, but it's important because there's two together. Okay. Because they're so tight, you don't have to indicate when you come off the first one because it's just the okay. time. So don't so worry about that. That's it. And then what's up there? That's um, it. That's okay. what I'm bad because those lights are gonna change. But you couldn't get fully over, so you don't wanna go stuck on the crossroads last time. If you can't get right over the whole way straight away, mm -hmm. just keep way back. Keeping back will rarely cause you any trouble. That's what I'm doing about starting the high streets. A lot of it's about hold back, hold back. That's good. So let's see. That's like you're doing about that's fine. So when can we go? This has gone wrong. Creep, that's right. When can we go? Uh, I we could have actually. Any more chances? There's no, no chance there of any chance left. No. After this, that's one, good. I'll go. That's it. Okay. So it's come off in the right hand lane. Far right. That's good. And next round about right. So what's the problem on this one? Um, the cars. Oh, and like I can't get that's out, so I shouldn't can go. We go yet? Can we go now? That's good. But this is a hard high street, actually, saying it's easier than the first bit's quite hard. That's good. That's great. This is the easier part now, it's slightly easier. But that was good, the first round of eight, just trying to get it so you don't do the hand out too much, so you kind of get to flow and creep. But that's what we're developing today. No, we're not parking here, but imagine if you were, to see the different way of parking here. Mm. Some people are really good, some are bad, some are sticking out. Yeah. But it's, um, it isn't that hard to do if you follow these methods, I'll show you later on. But if you don't have a method, it's quite hard just to judge it. So we'll start doing that quite soon actually because there's a few roads around here where um, it's a good example there that doors with. So about leaving the doors with. There's a few roads around here we can get to go and try and do the parking. I say try because it, it depends on where the park cars are. So you think about that's good about that tires and tarmac, see to the bottom of the tires. 
and you want to try and get it so you slow down before they do in a way so when the blue one breaks you slow down straight away or you even okay. predict it so you slow down before they do what we don't want is it's like they break then you break and it's a sudden stop now what might make them break though uh, that person yeah, we'll in there. Yeah, that's a good example. So we slow down before we sped up. We didn't have to then very much at all. That's good. What wouldn't be good is you zoom towards the blue one, stand the bike on, and go away first. So this is one of the high streets we do. Not that hard. This one is fairly wide. If you were going to turn into that garage on the right there, the fuel garage, you do the same kind of skill. So you can't go fly and smash into the pumps. Mm -hmm. You've got to sort of crawl, creep, creep. But we're going to go next left. <coughs> um, it's just before the lights. Okay. And then next left, which is quite hidden, but where is it? No, no, no. no, sorry. I saw a gap and I thought maybe no, it was there. That's good, the gap. Where is the other gap? Uh, oh, that's yeah. It. That's it, that's good. Yeah. So, okay. really bad view, what do you do? So, we need to come down to first, that's maybe? It. That's good, because this is unusual, really, that, that truck. That's really good you did that. Okay. Is anyone coming down? Yeah, I saw yeah, someone that's good. actually, so I'll wait here. If they want to come this way, they're kind of stuck, but this truck is not where it should be. If they do want to come this way, they'll go down there. That's good. So, we kind of roll a little bit now. Loads of turn left. We kind of pass around each other. That's good. That's our kind of crossroads where you sort of go around the front. So if you pull up on the left just after this silver car, silver okay. car, then this last silver car there's yeah. That's good. They ran out That's, of good. That's good. That's good because you've still got it there ready to go. <laughs> That's it. I'm not very talkative, am I? That's a pretty good idea, eh? So you're not going to be for too long about five, ten minutes, but that's fine, but money. So let's turn off there. That's it. So that's what I work on now because why is that so hard to do? Um, why is it hard for you to pull up properly there? It was like because it's uphill. Like I was losing all the power. I don't know what else. I don't know what, what's about the direction of the car that makes you harder. Whatever you do there, that will be hard to do. Like the one in front of that van by the green where it went up the kerb. What yeah. made him have to go up the kerb? Um, this gap was a lot smaller than this gap. Yeah. So that's it. Maybe so that was why. If you go forward, your car doesn't steer as well. It doesn't feel like it steers at all because it's quite clumsy going forwards. So if I draw this in, uh, let's go there. If I just put the wiper down, just one, the right and right and stick. So just very push it. down. That's it. That takes it off also, otherwise it keeps going on all the time. Okay. So, for draw one car there that we're going to park on. Um, so, first of all, like I said, going backwards, it doesn't make you steering better, it's the same as when you go forwards, but your car manoeuvres better. If you think of like a sit on lawnmower when they, the back wheel steer, they can go down the grass, they can spin around on the spot and cut the grass the other way, like that. That's why they steer from the back. Okay. So, why not always have your back wheel steering? You think, what would that be like if you're driving down the road like this forwards and your back wheels are steering? That make you quite slow to turn. Well, you'd be too fast. You'd have so much power in the steering. You'd be like that all down the road. You'd be wiggling all over, so you wouldn't be able to keep the car straight. So okay. it's deliberately quite clumsy going forwards. Not clumsy, it's clumsy. I think going backwards. So <laughs> normally, what you do is you pull it by a car and reverse it in a parallel parking. Now, I know we haven't done this, but what do you reckon this gap between two cars? How small do you think that can be before you wouldn't be able to be able to get in? Um. This would be quite big, maybe like, I don't know, two of your car maybe? Yep, that's it. So two's a good guide, like that is about two and a bit. You can do it mathematically 1.24 is the smallest, but no more than like, well, so one and a half is about the smallest you want to try and get in. Because 1.24 is when the car does it for you. You know, you can press the button, it goes in for you. You can't use that on test because it's cheating. But there are some cars you can pull up. This one hasn't got it, but some you can pull up and press the button and it'll just do it all for you. Lock on the adverts you might see on the telly for them. Yeah. It's very handy, but it still means you've still got to look around <coughs> for pedestrians or whatever. It doesn't do everything for you. So what we're going to do is, for the purpose of lessons and tests, you hardly ever do it between two. Why do you think that is? I mean, we do try our lessons if we can, but why? 
Why um, is he not doing a test, you reckon? In case you hit one yep, of the cars. That's so you can do it, but it's hard enough as well just to find one car around here because it's been Birmingham, it's busy everywhere. So finding one car on its own is you know, quite hard to do, but finding a gap with two is quite rare. Around here, though, as you can see, there are some, so we're going to try gaps in a bit. Um, so this can sound quite confusing, but it's actually pretty simple to do. I've run through it now, but it's, it's, it sounds harder when you talk through it than we actually do it. So there are two things you have to understand on this. The first one is the first reference point. You see in the back window or in the middle mirror, whichever one, you get the wiper like that. Looks to me like that. Yeah. The part of the wiper you're talking about is not the wiper, so if I say the wiper, I mean the base of the wiper, the little bit, see the little bit that connects to the middle yeah. of the window. That's the part I'm looking for. So that's one of the main things <laughs> that will help you on this. So you imagine we'll do it as though it's a test one for now, because in real life you see a gap, you back it in. But imagine you're on the test one. So they'll put you up here and they'll say, can you now power or park on that car? And they'll point to the car in the distance, whichever one they want, they'll say the colour or whatever it is. So you check all around, you move off, but normally you'd, you'd be the stage already because you wouldn't normally pull over then decide to park. So you pull up there. You want to pull up the normal kind of width, so how far is it you should be from the car normally? And the door yep. length. That's it, like I mentioned before, that person on the high street. So when you pull up, you want the back of your car to be just past the back of theirs, about there. Mm -hmm. Now it doesn't matter if this is the front or the back, whatever that is, I call that the back. So even though this one in front is facing us, I call that the back. Um, the reason for that is if you start level with the back like that, and there's a car there, you may not get in the gap like that, because you won't be able to get in. So if you start slightly beyond, and this is one of the hardest parts actually getting the right starting position. If you start there, you should look like you're going to hit the car, but you won't. So you'll be almost scraping it, but it should be the length of that board. You should be able to get that between the two cars at all times. Otherwise you're too close. Um, for the purpose of the test, if you are scraping like that, they will stop you and warn you too close, in which case you fail. But that shouldn't happen. So you pull up there, and then all you do is... You look all around, if anyone's appeared, what would you do? So if someone's kind of behind or ahead, to tell them you're going to park. Um, you'd normally like signal, yep. you? So you might signal left. You wouldn't always if no one's around, but you can if someone appears or if they're not sure what you're doing. They probably know, because if you're going to learn a car, they'll see you do this, they know you're going to park. Um, when it's safe to do so, you pop into reverse. So, <coughs> just like on the other manoeuvre, if you pull up and go to reverse, then look and there's a car behind you, you could have panicked them, because I think you haven't seen them. So you always look all around, make sure it's safe, then select reverse. So, this is where it can sound confusing, but it's actually quite easy. All you do is, do you remember dry steering on the, the turn in the road? And we said, what yeah. that was. You have to, like, turn really quickly, don't you? Is that, that the one? Oh, no, wait, dry steering is when you do it and you're not moving but you move the yeah, wheel. that's it. Why is that not quite so bad today as it would be last time we did it? Mm, maybe because we're going downhill? Yeah, there's that one else as well. That's a good one, but what's about today that's making it... Oh, the rain? Yeah, so I know that's not really what dry steel means, but because the ground's wet, you wouldn't be scraping the tyres as bad. They would have some sort of lubrication, but you still try and avoid dry steel in the wet. So, you come back a little bit, and I'll demonstrate this in a moment. You do one turn left on the wheel, so not all the way, but just one 360 degree revolution. So the forward badge will go around one whole turn. You come back and the curve will be here in the back window, and as you turn it will slowly come over and over and over. You want it to be exactly underneath, okay, exactly underneath the base of the wiper. So you'll see the curve going like that up in the distance. And this will all make sense when I do it, because I can draw it. I can do it better, I can draw it. <coughs> when you go there, you do one turn right, that's the manoeuvre virtually finished. So you just pull up one left, when you see that, one right. You then come back in a straight line like this, coming towards the curb. Now this is the harder part, and we'll see if you can see the tyre or not. Because in the left mirror, this is the other reference point. You've got to see the kerb will be going up like that. And your front door handle should be fully over the kerb. That's when your car is right back, like that. Mm -hmm. Ready to go right. So you then turn right all the way. When you power over the kerb, you get the wheel straight, done. That's all there is to it. People make a big meal of this, but it's actually quite easy to do if you follow that method. So you pull a level, mm -hmm. one turn left to you to that, one turn right, all the way back, all the way right, back to the middle. Okay. So there's three moves. There's part one where you turn like that, part two where you come back in a straight line, part three where you go straight. You can do it in two, but that's much harder to do. So I find it's easy to go one, two, three. Because people often forget the middle one, you just go one, two, you go one, 
two, three, done. So that's the idea. Um, when you finish your wheel should be straight, but not the one in front, it's kind of bent a bit. Um, why is that important that your wheels are straight, parallel to the kerb? <laughs> um, I'm not sure. It's because if you move off, you might think the straight and the nine, you go flying either way. So you think the straight, you move off and you go shooting over the road or shooting up towards the kerb. Sometimes people talk about leaving your tyres turned towards the kerb, you don't need to. If your handbrake's on, you're in gear, you won, you're not going to move anywhere. So you don't have to do that too often. So only if you like um, San Francisco, if you go there, they've got massive signs up saying only tourists don't turn the tyres because <coughs> they're so big, you will go flying down here if you don't. But um, their kerbs are like three times as high as ours. So that's all we do. So we go left, middle, right, done, and it's okay. finished. So if you want to turn on, I'll demonstrate one of those um, on this, <laughs> this car in front. It doesn't matter if, do you want to try to put the, the white back up to water? That's it. It doesn't matter if it's a truck, car, van, whatever. We won't do buses, but it could be a bus in theory. It's a sound, it works on anything. It doesn't matter what kind, shape, whatever colour, whatever the car is, doesn't matter. Um, the one thing you might need to do, I don't think we ever did before, is put the mirror down. So not just show it in a moment. Do you know how to do that? Is, is it? That's it. This one. That's it. I can't remember if we did that before. I think we did, we did it last lesson, yeah. yeah. I can't remember why, but we did have to do it. Yeah. I think I mentioned about backing up. That might be why we did it. I think I'll sit down that next time we'll do parking or something. We said the white car down the right, they left the wheels turned towards the kerb. Yeah. You can do that, but that's kind of like the time my car's going to roll away. It's better not to let it roll away in the first place. So with your hand back on, leaving gear, you're not going to roll anywhere. Okay. Rather than just leaving your wheels turned, you could still roll into the kerb. If you do that, your tyres must be touching the kerb, because if you don't, they could roll, go up the kerb and on the pavement. So if it's really steep, you park facing the kerb, touching the kerb with the tyre, so it won't roll over. But you won't have to worry about that around here. So what I'm going to do is um, I'll move this off because I want to go over the whole thing. It's easier if I do the, the moving and everything. So if I go into one. So you pull up here. This is like on the test one. I've asked you to park on that car. So we check all around. It's been pretty dead all the time being down here. So hopefully it will stay quiet and we'll get it done. I'm only moving off now so I'm getting in exact position because you're moving off good. So nice and wide. And loads of zoom. That's it. And then really straight that's good Bit below the left. that's good one of the key things is to get it parallel because that's where it's parallel parking if you pull a wonk it's quite hard so wheel just that's good they're looking over your left shoulder so you're on your back kind of level with the door mirror the wind mirror about there so okay. our back's just beyond their back now because it's a four by four it doesn't work as well but normally their back will be here but it's because it's longer it's always better to get that lined up that will be the same no matter what the vehicle because the back and the back is all the same. So now the mirror goes down. <coughs> oh, yeah. Um. And the more down, the better I find, by the way. Okay. So I look around, no one about to go to reverse. The back wipe will come on its own. If it won't go in reverse, I think we had this before. Sometimes it won't go in, but I'll go over that in a second. So we do one turn left on the wheel. That's good. And looking back, left right all around. Just let me know when, now you might find this easier in the middle mirror, you have to look out the back, but mm. glance and get in the mirror. When's the base of the wiper on the kerb, just let me know. I can see it now. Yep. On so there, or a little bit more, so I'm going to go back a touch more. Okay. So any custom is different, but that there is pretty good. That's what I do there, if that's where it's for you. That's okay. better. So, one turn to the right now. That's good. Then looking over your left shoulder. And it's virtually done. All we've got to do is come back and back and back. You see if you turn right now, you'd hit the car. So we've got to come back and back and back. And do you remember we said you want the door handle <laughs> over the kerb? Yeah. So let me know when it's getting like right on top of the kerb. Oh yeah, yeah. That's it. It's doing it now. So there, or oh, a little bit more, because you've always got a little bit of room forever. But that's pretty good. So I'm going to roll back a bit as I do that. Which way do you need to turn? Right. That's it. Yeah, yeah. So loads of right turn. That's it. Now sometimes you don't need to go all the way because we've actually gone a little bit wider than we could. So you could even take a little bit of turning off. To the left of it, that's fine. This is where you've got to judge how close you're going to be. This is fine as it is. And then when you're straight, all you do is the wheel goes straight now. You can tell it's straight because when I come off the brake, it's just rolling in a straight line. Then all you do is hammer goes on into neutral and the mirror goes back. That's it, that's done. That's all you do. Okay. Um, you made it look so easy. That's, it. that's <laughs> all good. The door you do is that because you could have actually gone back more on the first part and on the second part, so it shows you got good angles because it's all about the angles this um now i know in real life if you wanted to get a smaller gap you would start further up the car because you see we've got a little bit of room in front of us you would just start slightly further up that vehicle so about another 
or foot or whatever forward you would finish closer in but for the purposes of this for now we're not bothered for, just for now about distance because there's no point trying to scrape against that car and then hitting the car behind or hitting the curb or whatever um, so when you finish out on the test you say finished or done because they won't normally say that for you because otherwise they're telling you that you've done your well so they'll sit quiet until you say finished or done or whatever okay. and then they say okay if you're happy with that carry on well, so coming out of this manoeuvre is as much part as getting in because what could go wrong as you pull out of here if you're not careful um you might hit the car and yep. don't turn right enough that's it um so i'm going to go back a little actually i want to show you one more thing i've got to mention what this is about is we're not focusing on just the test but you've got to know you know what's expected of you on the test one <laughs> they'll ask you to try and complete it within two car lengths so you could actually finish back here and that's still acceptable. Now I know it's really clumsy in real life, you could get a whole car in there, but they will allow you to be this far back, they're not that bothered about that. Okay. What they want to see is you're close to the curb, which we are, and close to the, well, you're parallel and close to the curb. Generally, your mirror frame should be over the curb, so that car in front of the mirror is over the curb. If your mirror's not over the curb, that's when you get a parking ticket normally, because it means you're too wide. <coughs> but that's good, so you can be this far back, this will be a bit of a clumsy effort, but you know, you're allowed to do that. Um, you don't have to be perfect on the test, you've just got to show you understand what to do. It doesn't have to be exactly as perfect. Well, okay. So we'll get to throw those, I'll talk through it, but anything you particularly want to go over? Mm, uh, when you reverse, how do you not just go like flying down the hill? Well, the one I did there was my cut side down the whole time. It was just break on, off, on, off. Like that. Okay. So all I do is brake on, off, on, off, on, off, like that. That's why it's actually easier down the hill. It can seem harder, but it's easier. Because on the flat, you'd have to be gas clutch, creep, 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 and then maybe brake, and then creep. But this one, you don't. So, so no just, gas, just... No, no gas at all. Plus, that's fully down to the whole thing. Okay. What's the only reason for going to reverse? Because people say, why not just leave in one, and just back it in in one? Because you could. This isn't good driving, but I could actually go to one, and roll back to lane one. But why is that dangerous? Um... You know, on the back of the car there on the right, what's, what's on the back of your car? It tells people you're going back. Oh, the oh, the brake, um, the, the reverse lights, yeah. that's it. What colour are they? Are they not red? No. They're white? Yeah, white does it. Oh, so you've got red brake, white for the reverse and the signal. Um, it's why you're supposed to have the same colour, because some people have the stupid blue and green lights, you don't know what they are, that's the problem. So if they're all the same colour, you know exactly what they're going to be. So if you're a pedestrian see white lights, you wouldn't step behind them, probably. But on King's Heath High Street later on, people do. Um, but try and imagine doing this on the high street, there's more pressure. So you won't get that on the test either. It's just done like a quiet road like this. Not quiet, but you know, not a dead end, but a road like this one. We've had what, one car, I think, come up here or two the whole time we've been here. Yeah. Well, so let's try another one further on. We don't do the same car twice because it can annoy the people who own the car. It's not fair to keep doing it over and over again. So we have to do one and move on. Okay. And for this reason, it's unlikely you'll get this on the test because where you are, there's hardly any way to do it. So you could get it, but it's much more likely you'll get the other two manoeuvres because this one is just rarely ever done. Because there's nowhere available. But for today, I've planned it well, so we should have loads available. Well, so let's go and try another one on the next car up with a, with a decent sized gap. That's good. So let's try the, not the blue one, but not the van, because I'm on the, there may be another one further on, if not, we'll drive around the corner. Yeah, maybe on the one, the red. Small gap. Now we'll leave that for now. We'll go into the road right. Oh, can we try to try this one? This car. Oh, okay, sorry. So we just that's it. Because it's quite a big gap, massive gap. So we creep in, we'll stop in, and back on. So it's creep forward, so your back is past their back. Oh, yeah, okay, sorry. Um, it's good because you actually get to our gap to begin with. It's a decent size gap. It's much better to put it too far and then come back. So, about when do you reckon? Push it as far as you can. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's good then. That's good. So we stopped dead. That's it. That's the only way I'm telling you. So yeah. normally you sort of pull up and then roll back. That's fine. So look in there, their bonnet's kind of here. So we've got it's a shorter car than the other one. But that's good. So we go into reverse and then we're going to stop us doing that. The thing where I didn't go into reverse, I'll explain after the next one. That's good. And now we just one turn left as soon as you move back. Looking where though. That's yeah. it. So looking over your shoulder, brake off a bit, one big turn left. 
Yeah. Just how many people get hit and run over in the parking lot. Oh, that was that's it. too just much left. That's it. So we all go. That's it. So our forward badge on the wheel is horizontal. That's good. Yeah. Okay. okay. So we're rolling back. And just come to a stop when the wiper base is on the wheel of that car nearest the curb. Because if you can't see the curb, you get it on the part of the car behind the red one yeah. nearest the curb. And just stop when you reckon that's in the right place. Uh, uh, yeah, I think now. Or there, we're a little bit more because it's not more. quite on the bow there. Okay. And it's different because if she says on one eye, sometimes it's easy with one eye to see. But that to me is dead on. If it isn't for you, that's where it needs to be, but that's okay. it's got to be there. Okay, and then. Right. That's it. We're not bothered about drawing Steve now because the main thing is to get the, the technique rather than pick it, pick, pick about drawing Steve. Okay. So the wheel goes right. Stop it dead. And what do we need to do on this part to make it easier to see? Oh, that's uh, it. Yeah. It doesn't matter when you do that, as long as you do it. You don't have to do it all, it's easier for you. And then just come back until the front door handle is covering the curb. Looking where? That's it. So it's mainly at the back, but the old plant's in the mirror. This is what people mess up on when he's more than anything, he's not looking around enough. Okay, not yet. Okay. That's it, that's good. Now, any more wooden go in, swing it in now, just don't move at all. You've got to turn right really quick and break off a tiny bit so you barely move at all. So massive turns. That's it, back off, that's it, big turn, 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 that's good, and looking back, that's it, that's good, and that will go in, he looks maybe in the mirror like he won't, but he will, because he looks different in the mirror, and on. so we'll creep back and back and back, that's good, and then the front now, if you stop there for now, mm -hmm. which way are the front wheels facing, yep, so okay. which way are they sticking out, like here, so this they'll be sticking out this side, that's it, and where's this one, this tyre, pointing in, Yep, so it's all sticking out like that, so you've got that much tyre sticking out of the front now. So be aware your tyre is sticking out, so the front will hit more than the back. So you roll back a tiny, tiny bit, but not much at all. Just a tiny bit less brake, and then braking, that's it. And then when it's level, which is when you reckon? Is that level now, or a bit more? Oh, or less? Uh, more. Yep, so a tiny bit, but then turn the one back to the middle, as soon as you move. That's good, so fast, fast, turn, 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 and then stop. That's it, that's done, spot on. And all you do is... No. No. That's good, yep, that's it. Okay. So let's tap, down, tap, and yep, that's good. That's the parking then. That's even better than the other one because you're very close to the curb there. So that's right on the curb, not on your beer, you're next to it. That's it. See, so looking behind and ahead, um, is there more room do you think in front or behind? Um, in front. Yep, now it looks it, but it's actually the same. I used to see even this, but it's the same thing because behind it looks really close. But if you were to get out and look, you've actually got as much room behind you as you have, and it doesn't look at it at all. But when you park by the station at the end, we don't stop when you do the bay park last time. It looks like the fence is going to hit the car. You get out, you've got that much room. Man, that woman, that woman walked around the back. Yeah, that's yeah. how much room there was. She was walking down the back of the cars. But it looked to a start with that far from the fence. So we'll do more of that, but is there anything you particularly want to go over on that? No, I think that actually yeah. went a lot better that's than it. I thought it that, would. <laughs> that was in a gap. That's quite a small gap as well, isn't it? This is quite big. It's not, not that small, but it's you know, not too big either. Um, the thing about reverse, all this is, I don't think we had this on the reverse, on the turn in the road, but if you won't go in, did you go over that? What to do if you won't go in? Oh, you put your clutch down and you take it back to neutral and yeah, do it again. that's it. Most times it works. Well, if you go slow like that, it's fine. But if you do it quick, and I did a bit quick before like that, you won't always go in. It's just the this car, every fiesta I've ever had has been the same as this. They don't like going through us as much as they do going first. But yeah, that's really good. So, <laughs> so from this one, I was around. That's right by the curb. That's great. Oh, okay, yeah. So, that can't be any better. That's even closer to the one in front, maybe. Um, well, I'm just going to try some more of that, but we'll do more high streets as well. It's the main two things, because these things go hand in hand. Um, that's good. So, if anyone appears, what will you do? So, if you, if you just pulled up and you've seen all I'll say that van appears behind you. Yeah. What do you do? If you just can start the manoeuvre. Um, so I'm guessing I don't do it if the but mm, so it's if I've only if I've started it I'll yeah. have to finish it. That's it, that's good. If I've not started it then I don't do it. Yep, yeah, so you can if you want to move off on lessons, but just so know about this on the test because I had someone do this last year. If you drive off it's it's classed as fail because you've abandoned the manoeuvre, so you mustn't abandon it. You must complete it no matter what. So if you get ten buses behind you, fifty buses in front, you must complete it. Now they can yeah, you don't want to make them wait, but they can wait till you've done it, then they'll go, then they'll go. Um yeah, that van behind's parked, I thought that van was moving then he's parked like that, that white van behind. It's like you're sticking right out. See how he's parked with your bad, he's kind of out in the road. Oh yeah. Like what transit run. So I say you don't want to finish as you are, you're perfectly straight level with the car in front. 
uh, but you don't want to be kind of sticking out, that's annoying. Not the ones down the high street, some are sticking out, some are sticking in. Um, well, so let's go into the road, we'll try and do some more of those, if there are any more available spaces. Okay. Um. The best tip is it should always look like it's gone wrong. If it doesn't look like you're going to hit something, you've probably done it wrong. Because it should always look like that. Now, if it looks good, you're normally too wide. And you okay. get out and realise you've got loads of room. But, let's see. Here we go. That's good. That's great. That's it. So end of the road right and then it will be the next right after that. Cherry pickers in the back place. Coach in the back place as well. This is all good creeping practice. So this actually the road just follows right but be careful because on the left there is a miniature road which you can have one car coming down from all the garages. So it's highly likely anyone will come from the left, but it's worth checking. How would you position your two car? I mean, that's good, does it? So I'm going to try parking on on the available side. We'll try it on. Could you get any sketches in? Uh, hmm. It's quite small, but yeah, small. maybe. So we'll try the next one. You could, but let's try the next one's a little bit better. Because that is quite a tight gap, whereas this one that looks better. Oh yeah, okay. So part of this maneuver is actually finding some way to do it, because that's the hardest thing. You don't have to think about the test when it's more for the exam than that. But it's... Okay. Well, when do you reckon? So... That's good. Yeah. That's it. So, I won't say as much as before, but it's going to be different on the uphill, so let's get ready to go. So we're not rushing it, but always as quick as you can, because you don't want to be in the way of anyone coming up. But it's a pretty quiet road. I need to that's put the handbrake on, don't I? I'm going to roll. What else could you do so you don't have to do it later on? I'll put That's the it. mirror down now. Okay. That's good. So we're never rushing this, but if someone does come down, you have got to move out of the way as best you can. Bunny, let's give that a go. So now I have to creep backwards. That's good. And wait, left. Down. That's it. Okay. Just clutch the video. That's good. That's it. That's really good. Okay, so when you turn, it's up to you. Just. Here. Yeah. That's good. That's okay. it. That's good. Oh. It's balanced. That's good. Balance. Okay. So, Right. That's good. That's it. Because it's all about balancing rather than stopping the figure. And looking where. Oh, that's it. Just keep it really uh -oh. slow. That's it. Nice uh -oh. and slow. I'd forget. That's it. Just creep. Look in the mirror. Where's that going to be? Uh, just clutch a little bit. That's good. Oh, it's got to be over the curb. That's okay. it. So and then I turn right. Yeah. Leave as late as you can. I won't say when, but leave it late because the later the better. As long as you're not so late, you're on the curb. That's good looking back. Okay, that's right, good. That's now, good. Fast, and now I fast, go right. That's good. Fast, 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 that's good. And then... Oh, sorry. That's good, that's it. It's so hard. That's good, and then one now. Please straighten up, that's good. That's good. That's it. Maybe it's a break, stop, stop. That's it. So stop. This is really That feels funny because you're in a ditch there, you are like a drink of it. That's really good. So the wheel now goes straight. Where is that wheel? Oh, it's hard to tell when you're not moving, but... I should go that way. Yep, that's it, a bit more. Tiny bit, that's done, that's it. But why can't you roll forwards now? Well, you can, why shouldn't you? So we just keep moving. Oh, that's okay. It. But so they're not going to bother anyone around here, but if you care if you roll forwards in reverse, it can mislead people. Okay, and then we'll know. Um, <laughs> yep. Now we handbrake and that's neutral it. and mirror. That's good. Now, I don't want to mention the test much, but on this one I do mention it a lot. That's much harder than any test one you'll get, so that's really good there. I know I said a little bit, but I didn't really want much at all there. And that's got really close again, so that's great. It's harder on the hill uphill, because you're kind of fighting against the hill. But in some ways it makes it easier, because it's got some resistance. You can always do clutch up and down, balance it, that's really good. So, this one, there is more behind than in front, because you the distance, the difference. In terms of the car behind, it's oh, all yeah. much further back than the one in front. Now, normally we say which mirror, is the best side, the outside ones and the inside one, which is more accurate. This one makes it look closer, I think. No, wait, that's... No, actually, that, they that's make it, it look further away, so that one's more accurate. But when you're parking in this particular car, I find those mirrors actually better than the middle, so it kind of goes the other way around. Because mm -hmm. that one is always more deceiving, I find. It's because the back windows are blacked out, it looks a bit weird. A bit weird. But those ones, of course, they're not blacked out. No windows outside. You can actually see better than there. So, we'll do more of that, but that's pretty good, that's pretty much spot on. And you've done two hard ones there in between two cars on hills as well. So normally you get a flat one, flat road, with one car, that's it. 
Should it be a bit smoother? Because it was a bit. That's because like, that's, that's the same second okay. you've ever done. So that was just a clutch up down smooth. You're trying to avoid braking, so it's from clutch up down and down, creep, creep, crawl. Cool. It's just all going forwards but doing it backwards, sounding. Running. So, um, yeah, that's all good. So we're going to do some more high streets now, then we'll do more parking. Um, so let's go and have a go on that. Oh, yes, okay. Do it like this, don't we? Nice. Um, because you parked, what would you probably definitely do that we didn't do last time? You don't have to, but that's good. Just because you parked, it's just easier to say, look, I am moving. Okay, so this time we do it like this. That's good looking. So looking is what people mess up on, because that's good, that's good. We're not bothered if your parking's a little bit scruffy, but you're looking around it's great. There's no point in par parking perfectly, you look up and you run someone over. So yeah, it's much better to be looking good. But there you got both good, so that's good. So end of the road, we're going right. I won't so much now, because most of it again is up to you. Mm, it's all bad around here, that's why we come out here. Now the bigger your car, the harder it is to park in the way, but it's the same method, and that method works in every car I've ever had, because it's just, it's just the way it is. It wouldn't work in a van so well, but you're not going to drive a van properly, so you don't worry about that. <laughs> okay, um, end of the road, we'll go left. Why well, wouldn't it work in a van, that method? Um, they, sometimes you can't see out the back yeah, of the van. It. So I'll, I'll show you another way later on you can do that, but for now, that's not important. Oh, I should have gone. So that's good because that's a very small chance. You could have seen that, but it's very small. I'm just going to follow ahead for a little bit. And you might know the, um, the license you're going for, you can drive more than just cars, it's vans as well. Anything up to three and a half ton. So I can drive a transit van or lawnmowers are included as well. That van there, the orange one, that's the kind of van you can drive. I think it may not be if you move house, whatever you might hire one. You couldn't drive that low though. So that's good. That's good. So this is the high street. It's not much of a high street, although at the moment actually it is quite busy. It's quite wide for a high street. But the main one is King Seath, that's the one I really want to go and look at. So the 20 zone, why do you think it's 20? Um, because there'll be lots of pedestrians, yeah, oh, excuse me. So now in the past we've said 20 aren't always that good, but around here, this actual part is pretty good, because this is pretty hectic sometimes. The problem is further on, it gets really wide and open and it's still 20 minutes. <laughs> That's where people get quite annoyed. So, loads of hazards, but what's going on here? Maybe I should be inside. That's good. Okay, okay. So, and then we're going to stop. That's it, that's good. Okay. So, imagine trying to park here, it's the same, but it just feels a bit more pressured because you've got cars around. How would you tell that car behind that you intend to park? Or how would you say? Because if you pull up um, and get your... signal. That's it, um, that's good. You know when that van went in forwards before? It's because sometimes if you pull up and go to reverse, the car behind you nicks the space. That's what happens in reality. Oh. <laughs> so um, sometimes you have to go to this is my space I'm getting in. You kind of block it. Because uh, people do try and... I've seen people go out fighting off half of me. Two men go out fighting over space. <laughs> Years ago, now about 10 years ago, I must have been. It's very funny. <laughs> so, planning ahead, what's going on? Um, still at 20. Yeah, this is where people don't like it, it's quite wide. So, what could someone do behind, from behind? They might want to overtake yep. me. So, they shouldn't, but they might, let's see. Around the bend, what could be there blocking our lane or their lane? Um, like, oh, there could be something parked That's and it. then they'll get stuck. Because people can fly in there like 40 yards and then they see a van, they were a bus and then stuck. There was a car on fire here last week. So, straight on around the boat. Okay. Yes, there isn't the right zone in the head, so can we go... So, oh, bending yes. up to the last This car behind us far enough, is it? So, we sit on the sit. That car is sticking up, is it? Come back a little bit. That's exactly what I said that could happen. Oh, that what car, did I do wrong? Nothing wrong there. That car was speeding trying to get down the side. That's why it's the 20 zone. That's exactly what it said could happen there. So we're going to keep to the right a little bit because we're going to go right soon. A little bit of gas. Okay. Okay, so right on the lights. So what do you do now? Uh, should do That's the good. right signal. 
it's slow and it's lost. Second. That should make me first. That's good. That's it. Why are you not moving? That's it. So they're going to get fully in the sea. And they're going to win the box. Now it's good. So we get more in it. That's good. That's great. That's good. That's good. Now what happened out there is our car behind us now was doing about 40 yards down to 20 zone and then they tried to cut us up with the round the back but they shouldn't have been there because they shouldn't have been speeding. That's why it's important you've got to see them and know that they're there. There's no light you can do because you will keep it left if you can't do anything else than that. So I didn't do anything No, that's just them being aggressive. Okay. That's what we've got to look out for. Because I've had it many times there where like when I'm driving people can fly down and they just cut the hot round the back. But you see how there wasn't a right there's only in the head. So there wasn't a right to give way to there wasn't a road on the right. Yeah. That's why it's safe to come up, look and go. But it's not going to be behind me anymore. So, so there's been a crash there on this crossroads. Oh, yeah. okay. Which is why I'm saying because people just don't look on this one. No, this is still there, but it'll be okay. We might have to change the route here, I think. Just going nice and slow. I did want to go ahead, I think you'd still go ahead, but. Uh, yeah, we'll still get us to call it back crash. Isn't it? So, keep left a little bit so then get through. Then we'll, that's good. Clutch down, that's ambulance. Right, let's go now. So, ambulance had a big crash. Let's try it. So, I wasn't sure if this road is shut, but it's just the car park now. That's just a little bit quicker. It's me, yeah. But that crash you walking up to us is that idea behind and be careful, yeah, if we weren't careful. So end of the road, we'll go left. What's the speed here? Uh, I thought it was 30. I'm still 20. I'm still 20 all right. Oh, okay. It's been 20 since 20, so it's because it crashed, that's probably why. Okay, that's good. So, a bit of an awkward situation, but it's creeping, crawling. Oh, that's really good, it's nice and smooth. There's a similar thing can happen here, not quite as bad as the other one, but we're going to go ahead, so we'd slam with him a lot likely, but uh, the two. left one. That's it. But what's where the blue van is, that's fine, but a lot of people get it wrong. Has he got it wrong? Yes, he's got it wrong. It's just what I'm saying. A lot of people get it wrong and then come back in this lane, because they don't realise that lane. What does that lane do? That should just be for... Is it just for right? That's it, that's good. Oh, so I don't like him being me, so be right. Getting annoyed to me, but I don't think I'm doing anything wrong. No, don't do anything wrong. You just said they're trying to speed everywhere. But so what could you do now? Oh, yeah, that's it. So see, this one we're not going to go right. We're going straight on. But if you want to go second right, you've got to be in this lane, then go right, which is what that van just found out. And loads of people here just go right lane because you wouldn't actually go right lane to go right then the seat doesn't actually go that way. So, straddle for us to be all the way way. Just be making it because that car's too big close behind. No, that's good. Because he's out of the way of something. That car's going the other way. Okay. So what's the speed here? 20. That's good. Okay, this is a very new 20, it's only about two or three weeks this minute. If it's new, the problem is, People don't know about it. I thought this is on the left here, new, new road layout. So, this is coming to turn of the high street, the one we did before. We're going to go much further down than we did before because we only did the last little bit of it last, last time. Do you want to pass that bus? Uh, oh no. Yeah, that's good, oh, that's fine. Yeah. That's good. Nice and wobbly. That's good. Loads of room. That's good. See, if you don't, you'll be there for a long time. Because I can start there for a long time. So if you've got room, you should turn that chance. Okay. It's good just to know because you plan to stop all the time, but you don't want this, you've really got it. I know <laughs> if you don't know the area, it's harder, but I'm looking at you. That's good. But the bus is like here, they start the terminus, so they stop for like five, ten minutes at a time sometimes. Oh, okay. Now, with that in mind, I know this is awkward, but we're going to try and get around these buses because they might be there for a long time. So the first one's turned off, I think. Yeah. So the front of it's kind of lowered, like sound, I'm not moving anywhere. End of the road, though, what's happening with these signs? Um, we can't turn right. That's it. So we have to go left. That's good. 
Remember last time saying there's one where you can't turn right and people were? That, that's what it was. Well, last time I said, oh, that car turned right and they shouldn't have. That's the one where they shouldn't have turned right. So back to the high street now. Um, loads of potential dangers. I can't say all of them because there's not enough time. But I'm not going to say much at all because I want you to highlight whatever dangers you think there are. Okay. If you see anything that particularly bad, uh, let me know. It's kind of irrelevant, but what's the speed on this road? Probably 20. That's it. Because that's irrelevant because you don't really get, you know, you can get up to 20 at all. It's 20 from here for miles. It's a massive 20 zone and goes on all the way to the sea zone. So all these people are like potential hazards. So, so imagine trying to park here. Imagine like if you had to park on the other side there, that the car's coming out. That space will last for a few seconds and someone will be in it because it's really hard to park around here. It's actually very quiet today, there's not much, um, not much uh, action at all. I'm planning ahead, what's going to happen in a moment is going to bother so us. So the lights might change. <coughs> yep. Let's just see one. Uh, oh, the bus is coming. The van's in a really bad place. They've still got like, the bus, the van, the crossing. So can we get over this crossing or not? Um, not entirely no. sure. So the best I'll thing to do here. is that's good. Okay. That's it. Stay here. It's all slow changing, they're only quite fast these loads. Yeah. That's it. There's a lot of people killed here, you see that bike on the right, you might know about it. it's got a famous bike, it's not like the ghost bike. Someone got killed here a few years ago. Got run over by a lorry. But um oh. It's quite a bad crossing. It's quite easy if you do well, but let's see if we can go. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's how people go now, don't they? If there's a light driver can, Danny, to be texting on his phone, you're going to go all over and kill them. But uh, that's, um, you see why like, people step out if you're not looking. There's things coming from everywhere down his road. It's good because I'm not saying much about it, you know, not saying what to do, and you do it anymore. So in a bit we're going to turn around and come back the other way, because the other way is a little bit more challenging, because you'll be going up the hill. It's good preparation out there, actually, ready to stop. Just make sure you can all see the bottom of the tyres, because this is good, but you want to be any closer. So if they break down or whatever, you've got to have room to get around. Down the side of us as well, no, could be sneaking down the, left. Um, like a cyclist or yep, a it. bike. <coughs> now we're actually going to go next road on the right where that white van's coming from. Okay. So, could you help that van or not? Sorry, um, what, what do you mean? Yeah. Is he going to come out? Uh, yeah, we're just okay. This is good because you keep them back so that look you go, that's good. So that car's taken advantage as well. And then I can maybe go in a minute. That's good. Wait, that's good, yes, that's great. Can. That's good because if you let too many go, you come in here all day. That's good because that van was saying, you were sort of asking her, can you help me out? Because imagine you're trying to turn right out there. Where was it we had a whole right turn once? Was it last lesson of one, no? Did loads last lesson, but there's one where we was trying to turn right for quite a while. I can't remember, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, I can't remember. I can't remember now, it always funny, I never did one where we was trying to turn off for quite a long time. It was that roundabout, that was it, like a little mini roundabout. Anyway, so, straight on. What's the best thing to do, though? That should be in That's good, so stop, way back, stop, 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 that's it, that's it. Yeah, creep, that's good. Because as soon as that black car's coming towards you, straight away, I think that's not going to get anywhere. It's rare you even get out of one on these roads, so you can know if you need it, that's fine. It's really rare you ever get out of one of So we're now going to do a U-turn this roundabout. So I'm not going to say the exit number, just back this way. Okay, so I want to indicate the I think, and I can't see, so I should do it first. That's good. Okay, that's good. 
I've had a hard on the way those are before, they're not quite break enough. Because when you go to the roundabout, you're right on top of the roundabout. You just gotta keep way back and look at it. When you go, you're gonna have to steer. Because that one, your right tire's very closely in the roundabout. So I know it's all mirror, break it, way back, break it, break it. And then off you go. That's it, that's this one. That's good. Okay. So very often the value is just keep back, don't get in, keep back, keep out of it, wait, and then go. You're not too far, you weren't blocking the roundabout, but you was right on the edge of the line. So if you just keep back, I know. Like, What's the best thing to do? So I should stay that's here. That's it, that's good. They're ready to go, so you're not too far. That's good. No, I can't see as well as you can. So there's a well. red car, so That's good. Wait, I'm going to get stuck though. Nope, it's a roll, that's fine. It's rolling the ball. We don't go far, we're all rolled, so then we are trying to go. This one we like keeping back, so we don't stop far back, we kind of roll, roll. That's really good. Okay, that's good. It's a good move, though. Because if you keep too far back, you'll be able to have people go around you thinking you stopped. But could you get through this? That's good. Yeah. That's it. That's quite wide cool. So end of the road left, we'll go back up the high street. I bet in the car they did it wheel spinning away, that one we saw a few minutes ago. So why did that kind of jumpy in the road? What's making that happen? Um, I didn't notice it. It's pretty good, it's just kind of break that, that was good, breaking earlier. It's because you're breaking quite late, you're just getting done in time. So I know if you sort of clutch down, break it way back, that's it, that's better. Then break off, roll, clutch those down, that's what we got to do. So you roll like that. So you don't get the jump because it's when you stop with the brake quickly you get that jump. It's a very minor thing, it's not important at all. It's just it shows you're braking a bit late, which is more important. So okay. now if they're slowing down, what do we do? We stay yeah, here. That's it. That's just a roll, that's good. So you don't get a hard brake. That's good. So if, you, if you're deliberately far back, you can always creep up if you need to. But if you brake in brake, you're just avoiding hitting them, that's when it'll be no good. What's on the floor around here? The box. What's again. the point of that? So, hmm. So you're not going to go in it until you can see it's okay. clear. So maybe it's to stop too much up here. Yep. It's a bit pointless. It's supposed to let police cars go on the station, but even if they get out of the box, where are they going to go then? So it all gives them a bit of a head start, but it's kind of stuck. This is notorious this road for being bad. So what's going on there? It's to stop. Here. Are they doing wrong in front of that car? Just stop, stop, don't move. Stop. I don't know. They're blocking that road, it's the road on the left there. So here's a the road there. It doesn't look like it was a road. Oh, Actually, okay. they're parking it. So let's go there. They're going to block the road there. I don't think they've even seen that road, have they? No, actually, no, they're parked across the end of the road. They haven't seen it. But that is actually a road. That's good. That's great because you've kept back. It's all about to keep back, keep back. The first thing you need to spot the problem, second thing is to deal with it by. Uh, so here, what's the next problem? Um, I don't you want to block. All this road. That's it. Okay. Here's okay. Yeah, that's good. So this road, there are loads and loads of side roads. Some of them you can barely notice. So it can be alleyways, side roads, car parks, all sorts. That's good. So it's keeping nice and far back. Worth creeping on. I'm not saying it's right or wrong, but is it worth creeping? Mm, I can't see they're it moving, so maybe we'll move. But That's I'm good. Sure. I just don't want to roll back Does into it? the bus. But if you don't move, see them will break. No, okay, break so so. I That's good. Yeah. Okay. Ow. <laughs> so there has to be a break, then clutch down. Because if you do clutch down, you roll back. So is it worth balancing? So I can't see that far ahead. Um. Or we'll move a bit and then we'll That's stop. Good. I think because the lights on. So remember said at the beginning, most of the time you clutch it down on this road. That's good. Okay. Nothing wrong with this, this is like coasting the way, but it's, it's not that coasting because you've got to do it. If you clutch it up, you, you go in the back of that car. So that's good. That's good. So straight away, as soon as I slow down, we slow down. That's good. That's it. So I can't avoid trying to park, but they kind of go over the curb. Maybe. That's good. So next danger is what? 
um, the lights. That's it. Areas. Where don't you want to block? I don't want to block the crossing or that that's road. It. That's it. So again, keep way back. Just easy. It's just all about keep back. So can we definitely get through? Mm. Yep, that's good. Oh. Well, no, no, so close down more. Does it then creep? Can we let the lorry go in as to? We can. Yep, that's good. Yep, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Oh, sorry. 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 What's up? So that's messed up. Just creep away. That's good. For whatever reason, he's saying come through. I don't know why, but he's saying come through, so let's go there. Maybe you can see cars are there, we can't, but that's good. Best things now are lights. Super stop. So if you're not going to move anywhere, just stop. Hand back on. No point okay. balancing because I don't want infants creeping, creeping. You're not going to get anywhere. But does that still matter or not? If you stall like that? I don't think it was too bad. That's it. So that is not ideal, last. but no one's really going to care. No one knew. No one back away anyone, so. That's good. So what date do you want to block, though? Uh, this road. That's it. So what do you do? Stay here. That's it. That's good. Okay. So the one in front is kind of leapt in. That's good. So the one in front's just kind of got over there, and then that's great. That's good. That's it. So if you stop dead, generally you have a musk on, because otherwise you're going to roll back. So can we get through? Mm, no. So might as well stop dead, and back on. Because looking ahead, we're not going to move anywhere at all. Except for, it's clearing a bit, so can we go? Yes. What? As long as it's box out of the way. Okay. He's quite busy around here. Many years ago, there was an armed robbery up here, and they did it deliberately because they knew the police would never be able to get there. And the police station's only down the road, but That's they couldn't terrible. even get there. So these are traffic to advantage. It's been bad for years and years. He's only just been made it to on his own, but so you don't get over ten most of the time. So what's the next blockage? The lights and yeah. the road. That's it. Can we get past this road? Yes. Yeah, That's good. Down there. This is where we came last time. I remember my parentland. We turned from that road. Yeah. That's good. Because it's good to know when you, it shouldn't happen, but you will stall after your passage does happen. So it's more important you can deal with it than you, know, you should never stall. Do I need to? Yep, yeah, definitely. Yeah. If you start dead, you must, because otherwise you're going to roll back. Okay. So you, you, Are we you, not quite flat? No, it's quite uphill. He does, it looks flat, it's, it's a bit uphill. Okay. So next time I've driven here hundreds of times, you get to know the way, but it does look, it is just slightly up. Even if it's only slight, you can start to roll back a bit, it gets faster and faster. So, lights will turn right. If you're okay, I'll just hold either to you, but if you're not sure if any of it, let me know. Okay, I'll try to... Oh, so I get in the box, don't I? That's, That's what I need to do. Okay, so close now. And in. Okay. That's good. Are you ready to go? No, That's it. in first. Looking in the right mirror, what's happening behind us? They want to go right as well. So this, stop okay, it. That's so good. good. That's great. That's good. The first thing is, behind us, right, I know. Behind us, there was a big jam the other way, so that one stopped because he couldn't go anywhere. So that's a good example of the box where he couldn't go through. So, do you want to try that again or is that okay? Because it doesn't matter either way. No, it's okay. <laughs> is this still 20? Yeah, that's it. Stick it there yourself because he has changed you recently. Just trying to... That was better than last time, yeah. the stopping. The signs haven't changed yet because you said 21 thanks then. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was a good, it's good to me to stop it. So one stall doesn't really matter, it's more important you don't roll back and you can control the car. Because <clears throat> things will go wrong when you start sort of driving on your own, you're not just going to you know, pass and do everything immaculately, it doesn't happen. <laughs> it's better to be realistic about that and think everything's going to work first time. So you don't want to stall, but if you do now and then, you've got to be able to, uh, to deal with that. So we're going to follow ahead, we're going to go and try more parking now on a slightly <coughs> quieter road. And maybe the turn the road as well, we'll try and get that finished off. Because we haven't done that for a little bit. Do you remember last time you said, how do you know which light to apply to you? Or which one you've got to stop at? Um, when there's a line That's on the it. floor, then I have to stop. That's it. Take the next left, it's very soon just coming up. What do you notice about this one? Oh, yes, yeah. 
the box again. Is it? So, wait, is it, is it me? That's yeah. good. That's it. It's really tight. That's good. That's it. Because our red car wasn't signaling, so we guessed he's coming in here, but it wasn't actually saying that. It's going to follow the road around, and in fact, if we pull up on the left just here, it's supposed to be the grass. It's a long bit of grass. That's good. It's going to get that car behind that, don't we? That's good. That's good. So, anything on the high street you want to go over to begin with before we go on to the, the parking and that? Uh, I was quite happy with that actually, yeah, yep. I think it went quite well. That went good. So I mean about the clutch is kind of down, up, down, up, yeah. down, up a lot. Um, the thing to go over about the moving off is once you've stopped, why must you put the handbrake on? What's, what's the reason for having to do that? So what do you need your right foot to be doing now when you move off? Because it needs to go to the gas and That's then it. in that gap it will roll backwards. That's it, so you're going to roll back smash. Even that you could hit someone behind you. Uh, so yeah, put handbrake on, <coughs> like that. Set of gas, set of clutch, and then go. Why not do this way with the brake down, lifting the clutch? Why is that no good? Well, no, that's good. With what? Sorry, brake Because oh. people trying to hold the brake and they go clutch with the brake on. Why is that not as good to do? So we mentioned in the past. Won't you stall if you do that? I don't. Yeah, so you could again. This car you won't, but many you do. People argue about this, but many cars if you do that bang, you stall every time. Certain cars, like I had one last year for a few two months at it. If you do brake clutch up, bang, every time stall, some I can bang stall. So some cars are this one you can, you can hold the brake down, it works, but not the best way of doing it. Because some cars won't let you do that. If yours does fine, but if it doesn't, then you're in trouble. So it's got to be handbrake on and then that and that. There is a feature in this car where you can have your own roll back and what it does it holds the brake on for you and it says in the manual it allows you to put your foot on the gas ready to go. So it just proves that's what it's for, the manual itself says, it holds it for you, so you can do, it's all. It's not a handbag, but it's kind of like the handbag being on, so it pauses, like that, and it sets your feet, you can see your feet and you go, that's always turned off for lessons, because it's not something you get in every car, so it's not good to use. Yeah. Right, so, parking, let's try parking in our car in front of the Honda. It's up to you, I won't so much at all. <coughs> Why is this one a little bit easier in a way than the other ones? Um, it's not so up or downhill. That's it, so pretty flat. It's always slightly up or down to some degree because you have a flat road, it's quite rare, totally flat. But yeah, so that's up to you. So let me know when you're finished, I won't say too much. Okay. So, I'm going to go too fast. Oh, oops, a bit too far. As if you're not going back, why can't you roll back? Oh, because the, there'll be no That's light, it. so I have to do it in reverse. Cool. Okay, and we'll do the thing there as well. No, I know there's no one it's just good practice to have reverse. You might need it as well. So if you're in one, you might you clutch up, go fly forwards when you're expecting to go backwards. So shall I just, I'll just reverse a bit and then I do the left? Yep, that's it. Okay. It's when you wouldn't hit that car, so you turn when you wouldn't hit it. That's just judgment, I can't really teach you how to do that, but cool. it's when you wouldn't hit Oh, that's right. That's it. That's left. It. That's it. It's always left to be in, and then it's all right from there. Until it gets <laughs> over there. Looking where mainly. That's good. Because the mirror's good, but just the old glance here and there. I don't do back, so I don't have any mind to do, but. Right, and then it's over the curb now. So the end that's gone way past where it needs to be. If she's up there, that's miles away. Because oh. that, that curb's gone way over. So the curb now is not even in view. Okay. So the angle is like that, you should be like that. So if we go to one show, I mean, look all around the car there. So it should be the angle like that. So if I carry on from there. Okay. Um, that's it. So turn. That's it. Turn and right. Right that's again. It. That's it. Just, just, just a bit. Just a bit. Turn back to now. That's it. Just one left and one right. Just slow. Just keep really slow. I'm just going to keep my clutch hanging slightly down there. You notice that car's there as well behind. Mm -hmm. That's good. So if you cut down and break it and then back over to you. I'll go over there in a bit, but that's why you must get the first spot spot on. If the first bit goes wrong, everything goes wrong. If that goes well, the rest will normally follow. I don't know what I'm going to do now, right? Yeah, just come back, just looking on and they just when do you got to be in that curve? Oh, okay. Now that's over the curb. Yeah, that's it. So now I'll go right. Yeah, that's good. Okay. It's good to go all the way around as well, because then you can always take a bit off if needed. If you don't go all the way, then wish you had, it'll be too late. Looking where. That's it. Yeah, I don't look myself because I don't remind you, but 
Oh, okay. Okay. That's and good. now I want to put it back to where it was. That's it. That's good. Now, I know you're blocking the drive, that's fine. For this, we're not bothered if you block drive, it's just for practice. So, what I was on the first part, um, let's draw this quick because no one would probably want to come in that drive mode, but the angle was too steep because the first one has got to be like that, exactly like 45 degrees like that. Because when you had it, you're going back and back and back, and the angle is like that. So, if you go back, you're never going to get in because the front has got nowhere to go. You've got to wedge. If anything, have it too shallow, so like that is okay, that's okay, that's okay. If you're coming steep like that, it makes it really hard. Then you've got a sort of nose dive, swerve up, and you can't. So okay. if ever you need any day, or early is better than later. If you do too early, you won't get in the gap. And if, just for the moment, we're not that bothered about gaps, we've done two already. We're not too bothered about that, it's just mind thing is to get it in. When you get the hang of that, then you'll start to develop the sense of the angle better. So let's go try another one, the uh, next car should be good. Let's go do them before you finish. Oh. Before that. Oh, and the, the mirror, That's yeah. Good. Now, by law, you don't need that mirror, I should have mentioned before, I forgot about this. You don't legally need that mirror, you only need the right one and one of these other two. So, if you forget to put it back up, they can remind you on the test, doesn't matter. And you don't actually even need it at all, you can take it off, don't need it. It would be awkward without it, but you don't actually have to have that mirror there at all. Okay. Right, so, let's do the next car up. So you clutch too quick, it's going to be clutched down as soon as you go. Okay. So, so I'll try still one up here. Okay. There is a bend in front of there, but this road you can only come out from there, you can't come in from the end of that road, so it's a pretty quiet road. So, here. So, so people from the right would know the bend's here, so if anyone comes around there, they'll know the bend's here. You must have driven this way to come back out that way. Okay. Because you wonder if it's a dangerous place to do it. Well, so it's up to you. Just work on getting that angle. <coughs> first angle, really good. Oh, um, okay, left first That's and it. then. Okay. That's it. So, just not all the way, just one. Because okay. if you go all the way, you get too big an angle. So, just keep it straight at the wheel. See the wheel. That's it. That's not that. That's left. Keep left. Left, left, left. That forward badge must be straight. Left is. That's this it, that's it. That here. forward badge on the wheel, that must be exactly how I was on all that. So okay. it's exactly level. Okay, so rolling back. But you just come to a stop or turn when you think that angle is correct. Mm. I've stopped moving, but I think this is pretty much right. That's anyway. good, that's it. Um, so you could do a bit more, but I wouldn't be, you could, but not much more. If you were much more, it would be too much. Okay, so, um, so now I want to go right. That's it. Just one. That's it. Just look out for that badge on the wheel being straight. Okay. That's it. Okay. The angle's a lot better. It's much, uh, much more accurate. But how late can you leave it without being too late? Uh, you can go very fast. Oh, the clutch. Yeah, clutch down. Clutch down. You won't need to clutch all. Stay down the whole time. Because what's pulling you down now? Oh, the hill. That's it. Okay. So, right now is over the curb. So that's a bit too late because you've got it over. It's hard that curb, it's the tyre's already on the curb, so it's touching it. So if you turn now, you've got no room left to go. So if you go into one, and then hand back on. And we just look before you go forwards. That's it there, because if anyone's passing you, don't want to, don't want to pull out. So if you lean over or look up or down, whatever, can you see the silver wheel? Because if you can, it makes it much easier. I can't, no, no. I can't see it. So try and move anywhere till you can, because if you can't, it's really hard to see this manoeuvre. You can do it without, but... When I do, I'll try to sort of lean. Oh, so there, to I can see it. it. So now I know it's touching the curve, not only, but it's about to touch mm -hmm. it. So there you've got no room left to maneuver. So if you go forwards a little bit, check it around again. That's it. So when the tyre is further, the wheel's further away. Damn. That's good. So now you've got time. So that isn't much different at all, but that makes a difference. So if you can see the silver wheel, it's always good. The wheel's a silver bit, the tyre's a black bit, just to be clear, because the wheel and the tyre are not the same thing. So you look for the wheel. It's good. Okay, and then right. That's now. it. Looking more there. Okay. That's good. Okay, so imagine there's kids running behind or people, whatever, of any kind. Yeah. Okay, and now we go back to the middle. That's good. That's it. That's it. Just come back in a straight line. Just for not blocking the drive. That would normally be good. You normally stop there, but we want to come back and expand a couple of things. So is that going to hit the curb or not? I don't think so. No, that's good. It's back a little bit more. 
but be careful because you will eventually hit him, so just a little bit. Oh, there, 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 that's good. And then... <coughs> yeah. Oh no, should I leave this or? That's fine, I can go up, that's good. Okay. So the angle and that's important because if that one was a lot better, because how is that different to the other one you did last time? Like the first angle you had when you turned left and came back. How is that better? That's yeah, fine. more shallow. That's it. So if you get like that, it's easier. But the drawback is you might not get such a small gap, but you did because you finished quite close to that car. You're so close, you were blocking the driver, which is good. Um, you're not good, but good for practice. It shows you're getting close. Um, just thinking if you go, if you turn the wheel right all the way, or left doesn't matter either way. No. Yeah, that's fine. So it goes on one and a quarter. You know, a quarter one. That's all the way. So if you go, that's, that's it. <laughs> so if you turn back to the middle now, you go to a quarter and then one. That's the key track where you are. So it's okay. one and a quarter from middle to right. But you see how the forward badge now looks level. But you can yeah. look level when you turn once left and once right. So you can't tell exactly where the wheels are. Now if you turn the wheel right now once, so if I see you where the wheel now, it looks like the wheels are straight, they're not. Yeah. Because you know the turn the right. So one way you can do this, if we're going to one, you go to one and reverse, put one's better. You lift the clutch a little bit, you feel the car pulling to the right, it's got to go in that way, it's got to mm -hmm. dance in that way. Now if you get the wheel back to the middle, if I do that now, the car pulls forward in a straight line. So you tell where the wheels are. Now, cause sometimes people try and look out the window, you'll never see the tyres, whatever you do, unless you've got a really long neck. But um, you can sort of feel where the wheels are by the way the car pulls. So. Okay. Let's go try more of that. That's pretty good. It's very hard to get it spot on every time. You didn't know already quite well. So we're going to follow the road round to the right. Where would you look before you said? That's good. Then clutch down. Is it down there? That's what I need to work on working on now. So if you go around past the van, we're just going to work on pulling away from behind the dark car. So if you pull up just on left before the black one, just imagine okay. you're parking but quite close to the black one. Okay. Believe in the room to pull away again, but you want your bonnet kind of level with the, the last driveway. That's good. That's, that's, that's good. So what you do when you go, you go clutch up down straight. As soon as you move clutch down, because if you stay up, you'll get pulled towards the car. So you check all around, and then brake off, try and make it roll. Big turns, clutch up and then down as soon as you move. That's it, down. that's good. So you roll, that's better. And you creep away, and then oh, okay. again, clutch down, big turn back. That's it, then off you go. I was going to try more parking here, but it's usually really busy down these roads today. So, um, what we'll do is if you pull up on the left, just um, somewhere between the red car and the white van. Okay. We're going to do a turn in the road to get the other way, so. On the left? Though. That's it. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm not allowed on that side. Well, yeah. you can, but it's just that yeah, you don't want to turn from that way, that's good. Yeah, so that when you see when you went, what does that do when the clutch goes down? What's that doing the engine? It's <coughs> like it cuts off the engine. That's it. So you're saying go stop, go stop, go stop. If you say that like before, you say it will go and you get tracked towards the car. It's like on the high street, you go sort of clutch up, down, up, down, up, down. So it rolls really slow. Um, this again, because you focus, focusing more on the test now, getting closer to it. On the test, what they do at one point, they'll ask you to pull up like we did there. They'll say to you when you're driving, can you pull up on the left just before that vehicle? They'll name one, not the cry one in the distance there. Can you pull up just before, believe in the film to pull away again? That's what you call an angled start, so you've got to pull up from an angle, like that. Now, where you're going from, um, King's Heath Test then you actually start parked always on the wrong side of the road. You'll always be on the right, it's just where the parking is. So you have to pull out from there, go left, creep, creep. That's the first thing you ever do. Um, they will help you because you can't see it, they'll tell you that. But you creep, creep, creep. But then you do it again at some point throughout the test, just so you know. Okay. Um, if you do it on the parking, you might get three times at the beginning. You get one, and there's one on the test, and another one on the parking. So you might have to do three angled starts. So just try turning the road, and we'll do more parking going the other way. So I know we haven't done this for about a month or so, but <coughs> um, I don't want to talk about this one, just give it a go, because if you do it, you know enough now to be able to do it even without thinking about it. So a normal three point turn. Okay. Um, we say three because you can do some three. So I want to go as right yep. as possible. Yeah, I think. Okay. Uh, maybe a bit more. Right there. That's good. And then I want to go, I need to put the handbrake on and then I want to go. Okay. Before to reverse. Oh, no. 
That's it. This way. Yeah, imagine a car flying from the right, you wouldn't get a traverse. So imagine like if you're in one now, you look to the right of the car flying down, you just right, right, let them go, then reverse. Because if you go to traverse now, they're screeching to a halt, thinking I'm seeing them. So it's always when you look, 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 then reverse. Okay. Right, so back over to you. Um, some handbrakes on, I guess. Um, and then, no, wait, sorry, I forgot what my wheel's meant to be doing. Left. That's it. Is it? I'm yeah. not sandwiched because I wanted to think about it and work it off. So it's it left. So it's just because you're not turning on the way forward and back, you're going to go right, left, stop, mm. then back. But that's okay. why I wanted to leave there because if you don't, that's what happens, you won't get any three. So, what do you do now? Okay. So, so I'm going to hand my I just pry there because you wouldn't hit the curb because that would do a lot of damage if you go there. So, okay. creeping back and then forwards again. I'm going to see, and this isn't the main thing for today, but we are doing more maneuvers from now on. Well, this time, next time, that's the main thing we do. So, clutch down, steer left. Clutch up, that's it. So your clutch is constantly going down and down and down. And then we turn right about now. And then that's it, clutch down, brake. And brake one go. That's it. And then we're cutting one pass now. That's it. It shouldn't because you shouldn't give me that way with the mind. So, what that is about doing is about steering, you know, the counter steering, so you steer back before you get to the curb. You don't have to, but we'll work on that when we do the parking now as well. So, just keep the left a little bit more left, that's it. That's it. Because you already banned all the doors. Let's try one more bit of parking, let's play one. We try and stick to one many of the time, but we have to turn around there to get back out. So, it's up to you, just like before. Do you need that on the plan, Mike? Which way would you roll? <coughs> oh, backwards yep, is okay. Right. Um, and then... Yeah, because normally you say don't roll back, because now you want to roll back. Okay, and then I'm going to go the other side left. Okay. That's good. This bit first. Yeah. Yeah, you can if you want to do that, though. It's just with that in this particular car, it's quite hard. Because the, the mirror's been so the angles they are. You can't see the curb at all without the mirror down. Not all the way out, just how much to turn the If you turn it all the way, you'd hit the car. Because if you go all the way, it's too much of an angle. Okay. So here. That's good. And then, no still. And now just want to go right. That's good. Now, how close to the car is that? Quite close. That's it. It's slow. Is it? You won't hear I me. Mean, it's good, but it's just you want to keep it slow. So if something goes wrong, you've got time to think about it. So not too late, when are you going to be? Oh, here. No. To me. Oh. Sub so, whatever yeah. you think. I just don't want to see if you can judge when it's going to be. Come on, look at Yeah, that's it. Because you guys, oh. you got to do a little bit early, because when you did it so late, you're sort of getting on the curb. The ones you're doing are good, but you're leaving it so, so late, you're getting right on top of the curb. You've got to turn fast, but you've got to turn all that, spin the wheel. You're going to be like a blur whipping around, because you turn all that. It's too slow. So let's go and try another one further on. It's just there turning early. It's good you're trying to get it light but not, not too late. Do we need to adjust? Don't keep forgetting all this. So just do what you normally do but turn um, early at the end. So we'll try another one if there's one on this road. Oh, it's like, it's just, right, turn I need it. to... So just turn big. You still need to steer quicker enough, you have to turn much, much faster. Because if you don't turn quick enough, it's that available, but what else is making you go forward to too fast? You should have done the clutch yep. thing. So if you try to just go clutch right down, that's it, it stays down now. So if you need to back up, creep clutch up a little bit. As soon as it comes up, that's it, we start to turn. If it does go too fast, clutch down. But if it's fine, that's fine. Because it depends on how much you do it, just whether you need it down or not. Because if you're steering too slowly, you, you don't have to steer quicker. Try parking the back one. 
If you cross cars down earlier, you don't have to see it quicker. The patrol man is parking flow, so when you get to the right angle, just steer back to the stop and just turn left to get the angle, steer right. It's much easier not to stop dead. So you can slow down with the brake or whatever you need to do, that's fine. But try and get so you don't stop until you're dead. So the last part is not as far because you're getting the handle too far over the kerb. You've got to turn when you're like that much wider for the kerb because otherwise you've got no room left to turn. It's much better to be a little bit wide than hit the kerb because if you hit it, it's too late. If you're a bit wide, you can always adjust a bit. Well, so, let's give that a go. Just be very sort of delicate with the process. I can't think of what I'm meant to be doing. So if you're going uphill, what do you do? That's it. Downbreak. Sounds when you go forward, if you're going uphill. It's not wrong, but what do you think was wrong? I can't remember, I just feel like I've forgotten so to good. do something. That's right. I didn't know what was up. Anything left? That's it. Okay. Um, one left. Looking where? That's it. The mirror's good, but it must be out of the back only. What's going on behind? The van. Yep, so we stopped dead break. That's good. Now, he might just let us go, but he might go around. Nope, it's okay going back. It's creep. That's it, don't break. Mm. That's it, then gas cuts creep. That's good. So when's this angle going to be good? Oh, no. Like, no. That's it, so it's no. That's good. That's it. So it's good. Clutch up down, really slow, clutch down. That's it, so you roll. That's it, much better. That speed's better. So when do you reckon you need to turn? No. It's up to you. I don't say, I just want to see if you can get it. So just be aware you don't hit that car. But what's making you go a little bit wrong? There's something you do that's making you go. Like when you go forwards, what's making you go wrong then? Um, I know, I think I was meant to do the clutch better when yeah, I was going. It. It's because your clutch is kind of too high, you're getting a ship burst through, you go flying back. It's not where the mm -hmm. tyre is. You're not on the kerb, you're very close, like your tyre is virtually touching it. So you've got to get the clutch like For sure, one now, I'm going to one. So if I go. Looking around, loads of turn right now. I go clutch up. That's got to be that slow. So I crawl, crawl, really slow. I go clutch up a little bit. Because what you're doing is anyone coming that way? No. no. What you're doing wrong is your clutch is going to apply this, and you're going to clutch like that, going for too fast. You go flying forward. It's got to be very delicate. So a little bit like that. Massive turn now. So I clutch down, then up. I pause it there. Then I'm going to really slow. And it looks easy, but you've got to do your foot just very slow. Because it looks easy, but it's not easy. It's just been very delicate. So if you pull up on left, just behind that silver car. Because your angles are good, you're getting all the angles correct, it's just the speed's kind of pushing you too fast. So we we'll pull up just before the driveway, see so bonnet's just not blocking their driveway. Okay. That's good. It's good. Try a bit of forwards and reverse clutch control. So we'll leave the mirror down actually because it's good to do that with the with the clutch reverse. So if we're going to reverse around right now. So just Try and creep backwards slow like you do when you go forwards. Imagine you're on a high street now going backwards. Mm -hmm. So just creeping really slow. So clutch up a tiny bit. That's it. Looking back. That's it. That's where all that is good. Then clutch down a bit. That's it. Then up. That's what you want when you approach the kerb. So that gives you loads of time to turn. Now if you just try now, turn left all the way, but keep it slow on the work. Clutch. That's it. So loads left. That's it. Then clutch down and get loads right. That's it. That's it. Loads right. Turn down. down. That's it, and then loads left. So you can turn all like that, you're barely moving, that's good. And then we stop dead. So that one you went left to right to middle, and you barely moved at all. That's the one it's to be. But before, because your clutch is like a millimetre too high, you're shooting backwards or shooting forwards. So let's creep forwards again towards that car, and I want you to move away from behind that car when you're under control. So you should feel really slow and controlled. That's good. What's going to redo as well before we drive? Because we're going to drive for eight, that's it. Might be about five minutes to drive now, probably doing more parking. Okay. Just because we run out of cars on this road. So try and creep forwards quite close to that, then we'll stop. And we're going to move away from an angle. It can be because you feel wet when it's raining, it can be, that can be the cause. So 
that's going to be better. So you need to do when you go, you feel it's completely controlled, not the one I did that day, there's no loss, loss of control at all. It's slow, not necessarily slow, but controlled. Because you can be quick as long as it's controlled. You don't need when you sort of lunges away, you sort of pull towards the tree. Okay. Right, so back over to you, just really dedicate on the clutch. That's why I do manoeuvring, because you develop some of this. Didn't get that. That's, much that's it. Okay. That's good. That's just that's just hard on the That's really good. So that's when you see all the time. Have you just clutch up? It will go wrong. So end of the road. We're going to go left. Which is about the corner on this one. It's different about it. Um, there's not very much to that's it. do. That's good. To the left. So you might go forwards then left because if you just turn left you might hit the curb. Okay. That's good. That's good. That's it. That's good. Why is that struggling? It's actually a good and a bad thing, but why is that struggling really bad? Yeah, because you're in two. That's it. She moved off in two. But that's uh, bad because you're in two, but it's good because if you can move off in two without stalling, that means your clutch is really good. Because if it isn't really good, you cut out stall. So it's both good and bad at the same time. But that's good here because you went forward, then you turn. If you turn, you're smacking the curb. I'm surprised that I forgot to do that. No. That's the first time in today, I forgot that, because I know in the past that was a problem we worked on. Mm. But, so it, it's not good, but it, if you don't do it, you didn't stall, you did it. It just doesn't feel as good as it normally would. Now, in some cars there wouldn't do that sort of thing for you, must sometimes be careful, otherwise some would cut tape. So next left, where that car has just gone down there. It's quite hard to see where they are around here. That's it, that's good. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Round about left, then immediately right. So it's the road you can see going directly down the road, you're on that one. Can we go? Just looking right around the back, then right down here. Because that round about, you weren't looking right, you looking a lot more than that. Because anyone could look around the back of that bus. Did you see that one or not? I saw, what, what do you mean? Because when you turn left on the round about, you were looking left. Because you weren't looking right, you were looking round oh, the bus. Oh, I looked at the right before and then. Again. Yeah, definitely look okay. it, it, you look, that's good, but definitely look again because you can change that quickly. So you're going to go next road on the right. Again, this side is what it says all about is low speed. Again, high speed with the weak easy, but not easier, a little easier. So you put your foot down and go, low speed is very <coughs> technical, very awkward. That's why city driving is quite um, frustrating, it's all low speed. You know, so next road. What you're doing is really good as well. There's little faults coming in, but that's fine because there's hardly anything going wrong at all. So we're going to pick a car to park on. Hopefully there'll be some down here. Uh, we'll try maybe this black one here. Yeah, this one? This greeny black one. Here. That's good. That's not a smooth stop there. So like before, we just keep the clutch really delicate. <coughs> delicate. Uh, those people. Should... Yep. Yeah. Let's see. Can they go around? No, nope, just keep doing the minute, that's good. Okay. Um, right. So, not too good enough. That's good. Until we get to here. Okay, right. That's good. Do you know that? It's slow. It's actually just too quick. Yeah, it's okay. got to be really slow. It don't turn, you don't need to turn. Just get the wheels done. The wheels have got to be straight, straight back. I'm moving from the polymer there. And then where's it going to be? No. Okay. Is that car still there or are they gone? They're still there. That's good. Just so you're aware of what they're doing all the time. Okay, and then we get back to That's good. Now, the reason I made you do that is because in real life you're not going to have luxury parking in a quiet road. You wouldn't do this on a quiet road. If it's only going to be busy otherwise you wouldn't be parking here. So, what do you do to finish now? That's good. The handbrake that's it. Neutral. Yep, that's good. But what makes that go wrong a bit then? Because only one thing you do which makes you go a bit wrong. It was too quick again. Yep, that's it. So you've got one left, one right, that's it. You come all the way back to the curb, back, 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 and then wind them. So if a car appears, just don't panic, you just keep it the same. So one left, creep, slow, one right, creep, creep. Most people don't care at all, they don't mind if you park in, they'll just sit there. It's only if he's out of five minutes, they'll be annoyed. But that's good. Um, because if I draw this, this in, the only thing that's going on is that speed, because when you go clutch up, it's where you go a bit faster and like that, you run out of time, you can't do it. So there's got to be creep, one left, one right, 
ball over, right. speed side the same, left, done. Like that. So you're trying to get the speed the same all the way through. I'll show you one show what I mean, I'll do the pedals as you're just steering. All I'm gonna do is keep the speed steady, we'll see how that goes if I keep the speed steady. So if I'm gonna go and pull it next to the, the silver I'm hanging here down there, and I'll just do the pedals. It's often the case though that it's just a pedal control which is awkward. So that is really good, that's the kind of speed you want. So whenever you do this, we try and picture that you're on King Seath High Street. So, if I pull a slip on the silver one, it's going to do the pedal sort of you show this. What's going on behind so? The fan. That's it. So, good example now, if you seem to go left, okay. I've got to drum a clutch and make softly. This shows that I'm going to park on that car. Hopefully it'll just go around. Let's go get it. Now let's walk quick forward. But this is a good example of what we do. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep the speed steady. The wheel's up to you, I'm just going to keep the speed the same. So, so back we'll left. That's it. Okay. And then we'll be right. That's it. So did you put this back on? That's fine. Okay. The sandwich is just because I'm keeping it slow. That's good. Even the mirror's fine because we don't have the van still there. Okay. I'll come back a little bit quicker now so we have the van. That's good. So that was easy because you kept it steady. Now that last part we can't really be closer in because you're not that close, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. But you haven't got to be dead on because from here, I'm just going to come back a bit now, I'm just trying to adjust it so if I come back slow, just always have it. First. That's up to you. I just want to see if you can work out how to adjust. Yeah, left, and then now it's back over the thing, so then it should be right. That's it. Yeah. This one's hard because I'll be looking all around. Let's keep you right for now. Keep you right a bit. To get really close there, and then straight again. That's it. Okay. Not, not so much, just a bit. That's it. So you only got to steer a little bit, because you sort of steer, you're going half right and three left. So that's a little bit right, a little bit left, done. But just don't ever do, if you ever do, it's hard. All you got is one left, one right, done. That's it. At the beginning, that was a lot better. So, I'm making all that. That shows you to keep the speed steady, it's easier. Because if you do the speed too quick, you're just a little bit out of control. So the steam is just one left, one right, to the end, all the way right, back to the middle. It's okay. just a few times you go like one left, two right, or two right, one left. It's kind of more as match up. So if you <laughs> now go sort of, if you go half right now, imagine if you're just at the end, if you go half right, that, that's it, half left, back to the middle, that's it. So you've got to remember exactly how much you turn the other way. Well, that's pretty good, because you won't get exactly spots on until you pass and do it every day, because you can't, unless you do loads of those lessons. You've just got to get the idea of how to do it. You've got to show the examiner you know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. If you think you know what you're doing, they're okay with that. It doesn't have to be perfectly spot on every single time. But well, let's go in and try another few of those further down the road. I just want to see if you can control it now, like I did before. So when you do another one, just keep it really slow, steady, smooth. Know, down, is it? How could you tell that was too high to begin with? Before you even moved, you could tell it was too high. Uh, I don't know, it was a pulling Yeah, that far was pretty, it was pretty hard. So if I just, I'll show you now when no one's around, so I wouldn't normally stop here, but if I go like that with the handbrake on, we didn't know pedals now. You could feel it was pulling like this, it was going like that, pulling. So you don't feel that. So if you handbrake off, you cut slow, creep, like that. Because otherwise, what can happen, you didn't, but you could. You get a hand back on clutch high, you get like that job, it pulls way hard, that's when it's too high. So it's trying to wipe car for parking. Okay. So it's keeping it slow, see. smooth, not bother about rushing it, it's got to be slow, controlled, smooth. And let's see how good that goes. But this one's completely up to you. It's good, try and get it close, but not too close, because now the speed's better, you can get it closer, because you've got more time to turn. So push it close, but not so close that you've got no wheel enough to turn. If you can lean and see the wheel, it's a lot easier. It's also a silver wheel, which just makes it much, much easier. It's hard to see from yeah. here, Maybe it's because I'm too close to the wheel. To the steering wheel. Okay, 
Right now I'm over, so now I want to go right. Yeah, that's right. So I'm going to already on the curb because it's too late. Because I think the problem is you can't okay. see the wheel. You've got to be able to see the wheel because when I sit there I can lean and just see it easy. If you can't see it or sit like that, whatever, you've got to lean so you can see it. If you can't, it's really hard to park without seeing the wheel. But it's just too late because already on the curb. You've got no okay. to see it. So if you go strand the wheel now. So the first two we did were perfect. That's why the first two were really good. So we're like there. That's it, it's got to look like that. Any more than that, it's too far back. Because if you say that now, if you, if you can't see, you can't see what the door handle is, but mm -hmm. that's how it's got to be. So if you go back anymore and you've got no room left to turn, looking forwards doesn't work because you can't line things up here. Sometimes what you used to do is line up a tax disc, but you don't have tax disc anymore. But when that badge is a green badge, that should be, where is that badge over the car, how far over the car is it? It's like in the corner. Yep, so that, that's one way you can do it, but that doesn't always work because if you get this angle different, that could be different. That will always be the same because the angle is all the same. So if you go to reverse now, you just leave your clutch right there, I'm just gonna come off its clutch here. That's it. Just turn a bit earlier, so if you turn on now, it's good. But most of the time, it's because you're turning too late on this one. That's it. I'm looking well. That's it. So you see now it's just naturally coming in nicely. That's much better. Once you're completely level, because if you're not level, you can't turn. So when's the car completely parallel? No. That's it. That's good. That's it. That's good. That's still there. So it's good. It's the last part. You just got to do it earlier because you're leaving it so late. You've got no room left. Mm -hmm. It's good because late is good, but not that late because you're mm -hmm. right on the curb. So let's try and do the one on the next car up. Let's give that a go. So exactly the The first part's really good. Last part, just very slow. It's all very early. I think um, my handle, when you say I should do it, it's not over the kerb yet. It's like close to the kerb, but yeah, not. That's the cheek, like, because you can Maybe just sit it forward. So yeah, that's close different. Close to the steering wheel. So when I do it, I can look and I can see the whole wheel. So mm. it's easy if you can. So your head's like on the roof. Because you're quite tall, so you could do that. You could sort of put your head on the roof and I can see the wheel. When I'm driving those, when I'm over there, I can see the, where the kerb is. But I know it's hard to drive to see, because like, from here, I can't see that one because his seat doesn't go the same angle as that one does. And let's try another one on that car in front. Yeah, this isn't easy, it's just it gets easy. But, uh, let's give it another go. On the same car or a different car? That one, next one then. Oh, don't, don't go, don't go. Stop, 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 stop. So you can't move at all, so you know, it's no one's okay. So if you move, then look, too late. If you still at all, you say, I'm going to play in front of you. So you must stop, look everywhere. Mm -hmm. Can you definitely go? Yeah, you can. Yeah, now, now we go. If you move at all, you're telling someone you're going to go. Big, big turns, massive turns, that's it. And then massive turn, that's really, that's good. That's good to put it down. That's great. Okay, so let's try this next car here. The mirror's okay to be down as well, we're not bothered about it for now, because we're just going to try one after another. So, Sam again, just keep it slow and at the end, just turn much earlier than you normally, than you normally do. Okay. Um. There's no method that works for everyone, because everyone sits in different places. So can I reverse? What's, what's wrong with that? It's, oh, it's not. That's it. Oh, yeah. That's it. Have we seen all? Who are we going to see all? That's it. It's just going to put it in. Got to put it in. There's a VA clutch up all the way. It's going to come off with your pencil now. It's going to come back a little bit. So I'm going to get his car out of the way because I want to try and do one where he's not any pressure on it to get it done. Just come out of there. Let's get the car out of the way. That's good. So I'm going to go forward a little bit now. That's good. I should try one with nine to any big pressure to get done because I want to do it quite slow. Okay. Yep. So while I was with the reverse, sometimes you won't go in, you got to go in neutral, I said, clutch up. Then I said, it leans far back. Mm -hmm. You could have done, I just didn't want to, that car wouldn't have known what we're doing. Okay, so if you go clutching right down, then hand back on, and then back over to you. So just like normal, nice and slow, controlled. Get it not as good. We don't care if you don't want to go, it doesn't matter, don't hit it. If you're wide, no problem. If you hit it, big problem. Okay. So let's give that a go. If you're wide, you can always adjust it easy. If you're too close, you've had it. That's good. So, so far, it's already good. So, let me know when you're about to turn before you actually do it. Okay, so think about now actually. 
Yep, they're all now a bit more because you don't slide, that's good. So, kind of, when do you reckon? Here then. Yep. Okay, and then. They're all a bit more of a noise because you've got to get it to these judge angle. So, just steer as much as you need to as you get it in. That one compared to that one. Oh, that was a lot better. That that's one. good. So you can be close to them again. You haven't got about close. There's no point. If you hear the curb, that's it. That's over. You've had it. Mm -hmm. If you're wide, no one cares. You can, like, say if, if you're on a high street now, let's demonstrate one. Imagine you haven't got room to go back. You could just go forward like that a little bit. Then you go loads left now. That's it. So we'll wiggle it in, get pretty close. And then loads right. That's good. The creep and go, we will be close, but he won't hit. So that's how you can get in, it's harder, it's easier to do it the first time get in, but that's close, let me go straight. That's done, that's it, that's it, that's it. Okay. It's easier when, when you're doing the pedals, because when I'm doing them, I know you can't tell whether it was, that's good there. So that's the way you do if you get wide, wiggling, easy. But um, if you come back and hit the curve, imagine like this. If you come back and you like that, hit the curb, you're stuck. You can't, you can't go forward to so nowhere left to go, you can't go back, so the only thing you do is go out and try again. Yeah, okay. If you come back too far like that and hit the kerb, what would you do then? So if you got the angle quite shallow, you got to stay about there, what could you do there if you further back? You would just turn yeah, left. That's it, forward left, done, easy. So that's the only thing on this one, don't get too sharp, as you are is good, because if you're coming too sharp, too sharp, everything's impossible now, you made it really hard. Too shallow as you go back back. The shallower you are, the further back you can go. So you go back, 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 turn. If you get the angle too steep, like that, you make it really, that's why I didn't do two, you know, so I didn't do two moves. If you're doing two left, right, that's really, really hard to do. It's so much easier to go left, straight, right, done. Well, so let's count. So now, I haven't got time for any more today. We'll do more next time. Okay. So, what do you do to finish? Oh, the, yep. the mirror. So, the y of axis, I'm going to give you directions, but it's up to you to do. Um, so, yeah, what I'm going to do is tell you the, the route to go. I used to have a job parking cars for living, so I did that a hundred times a day, so I got used to it. So, it's all deliver cars. <laughs> To work at the airport, you used to have to deliver them to customers outside the terminal, so you get used to practice, practice. So, roundabout right. But I did crush a few, that's why I found out how to do it. <laughs> So I can ask you, whatever you do, just get back. That's good. Wait, I'm in first. Yep, that's it. Best thing though is don't yammer, just clutch down, balance go. If you stop hand make, if anyone's behind you, it's really annoying if someone just stops in what you're doing. You sort of creep, 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 go. So the point is you never want to stop unless you absolutely have to, and that's like an emergency if you've got to stop. Okay. The trunk of the speed is bumps fine, just go 30 all the way. These won't slow you down, if your position is good, you do 30 over me easy. If your position is too wide, you feel them, but that's because you're too far to the side. Try and get the, the arrow lined up with your clutch pedal. So keep going through, it's all the way again. Uh, that's fine, let's go, go, go. Okay. I know it sounds wrong, but the faster you go, the less you'll feel them. Let's go, 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 go. That's it. If you slow down, you'll feel them much worse. So left bump, steering lock, go. That's it. This is around now, because if you overdo it, you'll feel them much worse than if you just flow down the road. Round about left. Where would you go from here? Which way? It doesn't say, but which way would you naturally go? Uh, yeah, to that's it. stop and that's good. put right out. Turn left, that's it. That's good. Why does that make you right to be there? Um, I don't know. So it's all put your angle, but it's you can see better. Because if you keep too far left, you can't see. The other one before, I said at the beginning, where well, I couldn't see it very well. I said, like, you know, we came out of one, got a weird bit by the old shops, by the green. And I said, I can't see much to the right there. 
So you always get like a T, as much for T as you can. Yeah, those bumps, they're not designed to slow you down. The bumps are there to position your car. If the park cars on both sides like here, then you have to slow down, that's when they're good. If it's a clear road, you just run over them. That's what they're designed to do, so they're cushioning you, but they don't slow you down. But on the full width ones, are designed to slow you right down. But then they're all the same, every road's different, some they are designed to slow you down. That's why driving's so hard. There isn't one fixed rule that works for everywhere. But those yeah. ones are there, if you do 30 of them, you don't feel anything. As long as your position is good. Anyway, so, end of the road, we go left. So you find the bumps, if you slow right down, you crawl, crawl, left, right, crawl. Everyone will just overtake you around you. Then you're in more danger, you'll put yourself in more danger. So it's not here, the next No. Lovely very end, you go left, that's it. Yeah, I won't say much now till we get back. Way back. Oh, okay. So, if you keep clear, you can't stop there. So, hand that one. And then come in. This one I need to work on is that seeing things. Mm -hmm. So, I know this one, if we go. Why can we go now? Uh, I don't, oh, because yeah. the lights. That's it. So, as soon as them go red, yeah, probably. Okay. Because <coughs> that one, what you got to do is sort of mirror, clutch down, roll, one, creep, creep, go, and do lift. You don't want to get there, stop, hand back, because it's too slow. This is about driving fast if I keep in the pace. So when that van crept up, look, look, went, that was good. He didn't stop, if he'd stopped, you could be there for a long time. If you can't go, you can't go, but you can't just stop, because then you could have missed a chance. So as these lights go red, you shouldn't just stop, you should roll, roll, creep, slow, the change around the gate. That's what it should be. This was isn't the official guy, I learned about joined up driving, that's what it means. Not stopping and starting. It does take a long time to develop, it's just really sort of start developing that now. So after you pass you keep doing that. I'll try and do some examples on this road. I'll wait for that, what's he gonna do? So the only just to see things coming early on so you don't have to stop dead. That van now could sit the right because he's positioning, so he maybe won't be his position that way. So we check what's going on behind. So traffic jam, we don't want to stop dead. So we do nothing at all. We keep way back. That's it, clutch down, breaking a little bit. That's it, so way, way back. That's it. The amount of stopping is fine. So we just roll into one. So we try and creep, is it worth it or not? Uh. The lights have changed That's good. there. That's a little bit. That's good. So if you end up stopping, doesn't matter, but you try and avoid it. You don't just want to get there, stop, hand back on, too late. Okay, this shows you thinking and you're planning ahead. If you're stopping too often, it's not a good sign. That's good, because as soon as he brakes, we slow down. You don't have to brake at this speed, of course, because everyone knows you're going to slow down. They don't know you're not going to, you know, they don't need to see your brake lights because they know you're slowing down. Because the speed's hardly anything at all. Is it we still haven't stopped? All that jam we had, we still haven't stopped. Even though we let the car go, we still haven't stopped. Yeah. This side with the parking, that's where I linked that together with this. Because the park is the time you go back, you go left, right, right, done. So it's all like one smooth move. It's easier to sit and do it, but that's what we're going to do. So both roundabouts left. We are going back a different way today again, so it's a um, different route. Can happen now. They might change. That's good. So if they do, we might have to stop, but can we get through or not? No. no. So we're way back, rolling. Can we go for definite or not? Mm -hmm. No. Okay. When can we definitely? I'm still no. I have no. to wait for them to move. That's good. Okay, right. No. Okay. Can so, yeah, okay. No, 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 that's we good. can't. Oh, that's okay. it. So stop, that's fine. But that creeping shows that people don't cross. 
you know, you say, look, I'm trying to go, if you start dead, I'm like, I'm off and walk in front of you, and then you've made a problem, because then you can go, but you can't go, because people are crossing. So there are many benefits to creeping. You can't always creep like that if you stop that sign. It's hardly Birmingham because it's so busy, it's so hard to do, but... That's it. Because now you need to stop biking down, you sort of slow down earlier, so you don't have to stop dead. Mm -hmm. I know we may end up stopping anyway, but you've got to do much of the clutch down earlier, so you roll, roll, then stop. So as soon as you move, clutch down, no. That's it, then creep. Okay, now lorries are going to block or not? Yeah. Can we go anywhere now or not? That's good. Oh, that's good. That's it. Left ahead, whatever you call it, if you'd say it says ahead, but I'll call it left. And left so ahead. That's it. Can we go? Oh, no. That's, that's good. good. That's fine. That's, right. that's it. That's great. Now, further on, but not yet, we are going to turn right. So, where the bus is parked, we do need to go to the right lane there. Okay. This is how we did last time on the crossroads lesson, but not just yet. Not where this right turn meets us for the station. Actually, we could have gone in there, I forgot, but if we go right now, no. That's hardly at the end of the station there. Oh, okay. So, right, we go next, where that van's gone, with the ladders on. So, looking here, is there any chance at all we're just going to be able to go in? Uh, no, no way. So, it's roll, punch, punch down, roll, one. Can we go after this punch? Yeah. Yeah, okay. that's good. Straight up, straight up, straight up, straight up, straight up, straight up. That's right. That there will be right, then, right. Uh, this is the right turn here, because that there you go in front of another car. So it's just right, straight, done. Okay. That there will be you turn that's right, then right again. So you, if you cross in front of two people, you do two different turns. So next road on the right, back up to where we begin. Okay, so stay here. That's good, that's better. Okay, stay here. So roll, don't make that's a roll. Can we carry on? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Because if you do stop there, you might be much harder to move again to a roll, roll, shows everyone what you're trying to do. Okay, so, what we're going. Oh, this is the other oh, way. Okay. So, if it's normal, just run the road right, and then we'll try and find a space. If not, we'll, uh, we'll sort of decide the next time. Okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We go, they've stopped. If they stop and you stop, everyone stops. Okay. So you need to go to one. That's good. So we'll go down left as usual. I think there's a gap further on. Yep, there's one there. So I'll do the bay actually you could draw the bay parks with this people. So if you just go straight, you just clutch down the wall, keep really straight, dead straight. So you get well past this green car. Oh, okay, so clutch down and roll. Do you remember the line, line, you get the line with the where? The back of the car. Let's see, if you turn edges in and they'll get in or not. Do you ever see this line here where it's only to be? Well, you can't see the line now, it doesn't really work. So the screen forward just a touch, but not much at all. Just a fraction, that's it. But a little bit more. That's it about there. Now, if you turn left all the way now, that was just about going so into reverse. <coughs> you might have to take a bit off the steering again. This is there's no exact method that works for this, so you creep back. This is all judgment. So we're obviously close to that green car, but that's what of course we're looking for the most. That silver one as well on the right, which we don't need them. But turn left every last bit. That's good. You should look like you're going to hit the green one. That box going the other way. If we creep crawl, this is going to be good. So it looks close in the mirror, but you won't hit. You'll see the green, green car in a moment oh, in the mirror. And the silver one you won't hit now because we far enough back. It's going to be good. It's not really the parking, it's all about getting the start. If you get the start, good. It's all good. Now, I think we're going to hit the yellow one. No. Just stop. I don't think so because no. I can see a gap. Mm, it's just stop dead. So you might just be a bit close. So what is going on? One. Loads of turn right. That's it. Tons of more turns. That's good. And there, stop it right there. Then we go back a left. You may have got in, but not worth the risk. I can't see that well that way. Okay. So big, big left turns. That's good. That's it. Big, big turns. 
Okay, and then straight. Is it straight? Let's get it out there. That's it. Straight on the wheel. That's good. Yeah, that would have hit if you go back anymore, because in one go that would have hit. You often only have to wiggle in. Okay. It's very tight. Ooh. That's good. Let's stop. That's good. You do look really close. That's it. That's pretty good. Ready? So, let's turn off then. Yeah, this is a hard car park because it's very narrow. If those cars run out, it's easier because you can swing into the space. Normally, you'd have a space there to swing into, so you could sort of start a better angle, but because it's so tight, that's all good. So, do you want to go over the most from that next time? Um, the parallel parking. Yeah. So, yeah. what is it about that? Well, the last one I did was okay, and the first two I did was okay, but the ones in the middle. Yeah. What, what's that making that go wrong? Because any one thing you do in the max, you go wrong. So the clutch yep. too quickly. That's it. So if you don't too fast, this here at the end, it's not so much against your clothes. I mean, you are, but it's because your clutch is going so fast, you're running out of time. Because mm. when you go towards the curb, you simply haven't got time to get in. So your cars are that. So you'll get back and back and back and back, but then you run out of space. So you got to go slow, slow, slow. You can sometimes turn all the way right, think it's a bit early, take it off, come back, turn again, too early, put it back on. Uh, but if you go fast, too late, you haven't got time to get it done. Okay. So next time is going to be parking and reversing around the corner, because those two things are sort of similar, not exactly the same, but we did just two manoeuvres, and then after that we've done the topics just in case of developing all the things that we need to.